YouTube. It has been a while since I've shot a car video, like a long while. Uh, I think the last car video to show up on the channel was something to do with a minivan. Uh, that actually wasn't the last vehicle I owned. Uh, basically, I had the minivan, no, I had the Saturn. The brakes on the Saturn literally fell off. Bought the minivan, sold the minivan a week later for double my money. Uh, and then drove the Saturn around until I got a Buick. Uh, the white car, I did a video of it, it wasn't my last video, but one of my uh, can you buy a car videos, that white Buick, bought that thing. Sold the Saturn for exactly what I paid for it, which is actually a really great deal considering. And then uh, I actually thought that Buick was going to last me a long time, because it had the 3800 series engine, those things are bulletproof. Uh, what I didn't take into account is the fact that GM transmissions are garbage. So I put in a lot of money into that Buick to fix it up real nice, make sure it was certifiable and road safety and all that bullshit. And then the transmission blew and it literally screwed me. And it put me down the path of uh, five cars in six months of just nothing but failures. Uh, because. After the Buick, I bought a GMC SUV, and literally every single warning light was on this thing. The engine overheated after like two minutes of driving. Uh, it, it felt unsafe to drive, it really did. Then I bought this awesome Dodge pickup truck, and I did shoot a video of me doing donuts in it, which I might put up at some point. But other than that, and I'm really disappointed in myself for not doing a video of it, but uh, I really like this truck, but I just didn't get around to doing a video. And then I crashed it because I hit a patch of ice and went flying into the ditch and cracked the frame and then uh, blew the engine getting it back out of the ditch. So the truck had to go. Uh, I lost a lot of money on that truck. I got screwed. I, I, I don't know. I paid a little too much for it, I think. And then just could not sell it for a decent price. And then I bought a Civic. And here my thinking was, I'm buying the most reliable car ever. Like, this is going to work out. Civic didn't even last a fucking week before it started overheating and I wasn't putting any money into this piece of shit so I just went out and did the adult thing and actually financed a newish certified pre-owned car like an idiot. Uh, at the time I literally had no money so I had no other choice. Uh, but I deeply regret it because I got the car for a decent price, but then you factor in the financing and the taxes, and I got screwed. It's a 2012 Focus. It's the SEL, so it's the middle model. It's got every single feature except the rear view camera, which is really what I like about this car. Despite being the latest model car I've owned, this isn't actually the newest car. Uh, this was seven years old when I bought it. My newest car was six years old when I bought it. <laughs> And the funny thing is, my newest car, like I said, six years old, is a 2005 Impala that I bought in 2010, 2011, around there. And compared to this, which is a year older, that car was a friggin' antique. All it had was power everything. That was it. No other features. It still had a tape deck. This thing, on the other hand, uh, Bluetooth, touch screen, beefed up stereo, uh, all the fancy features, sunroof. Woo! Not gonna lie, I honestly have no idea what the specs are in this car. I, I looked it up when I bought it, and uh, they weren't impressive. I think it's like 150 horsepower and even fewer torque. Uh, it really has no balls when you're driving. Uh, it's got a sport mode with one of those stupid little button shifters, but it doesn't work at all. So really, when it comes to driving, this car is absolutely no fun. It's got so many of those uh, fun inhibitors. Let's call them fun inhibitors. It's got so many fun inhibitors, it won't do burnouts. It has the power to do burnouts, but even with the traction control off, the second the wheels spin, it kills the engine, or at least it kills the uh, throttle. So you can't do burnouts in it. Uh, you can't drift in it, because despite having a handbrake, the second you pull the handbrake, it actually, so the handbrake will lock up the rear wheels, but the brakes on the front, detecting that the rear wheels are sliding, the front brakes will actually brake to stop the rear end from sliding out. So when you pull the parking brake, all four wheels brake, which is ridiculous. I've never had that happen before. It makes kind of 
kind of makes sense for an emergency brake because then you're not freaking flying around. But really, there's just no way to have fun with this car. Now, I know a lot of my subscribers have been kind of annoyed that I stopped doing car videos, even though I did say I wasn't done doing car videos. Uh, but I'm in a really weird position where nearly twice as many people to three times as many people watch the vlogs I've been doing lately, but none of them subscribe. Whereas the car people will subscribe, but then never watch a video. So I really don't know what's up with that. But since I started doing vlogs, I've lost like 10, 15 subscribers uh, and I'm not gaining enough to make up for that. So like I said, if, like on my first vlog video, I will be doing car stuff. In fact, prior to deciding to do vlogs, I actually filmed quite a bit in this car. I've got five things I hate, five things I love. Uh, I've got a long ass rant about how the stupid <laughs> semi-manual system does not work to save its fucking life and I've got a bunch of videos of me throwing this thing around in the snow so if you have been watching my channel and just been growing frustrated with what is all this stupid clothing bullshit we subscribe for car videos uh, coming up there are going to be some videos of me hooning this thing winter's coming so I'm definitely going to be doing more snow drifting uh, there's going to be videos there's going to be car videos so if you're one of my car subscribers don't friggin' unsubscribe, because there's still car stuff coming.